I was waiting tables, watching the rest of the world move forward, not knowing what direction I was supposed to be heading. Then he walked in, smart, ambitious, and career-driven, everything I longed to be. And in an instant, his easy smile lit up my life. Everything came naturally to him. He had this warmth, this energy, this presence, which naturally drew people to him, and by proxy, me. His successes became my successes, his failures mine. For the first time in my life, I didn't feel lost. He was gifted, and he was mine. My own dreams and ambitions seemed small in comparison, and eventually I came to forget all about them. I was no longer an I, but a we. Then we became an us, our baby boy happily kicking away on the ultrasound screen. But what did I truly have to offer this little life? I had done nothing. Then Kieran was born, and he left. He left me, he left us. I was alone, I was angry. I couldn't believe he'd abandon us like that. In an instant, I realized that I had to be what I thought he was going to be for Kieran. I was forced to remember I had once had my own goals, dreams, and ambition. I was determined to prove that I could be all those things, that we were good enough, that we were better. I needed a job. That was clear within days of bringing Kieran home. Waitressing just wasn't going to cut it anymore. We couldn't afford to live. I wandered lost for a long time until I remembered something my grandfather used to tell his girls. An education is a single woman's insurance. I remember holding an acceptance letter for the first time, in utter shock that any school could possibly want me. But there my name was, in big black letters, next to the word, congratulations. But then all of a sudden it was the first day of classes, and to my surprise, I was good at them. And the people, professors, classmates, family, friends, who all stood by me without ever knowing my private struggle, or asking for anything in return. Kieran was thriving too. As I grew more confident in my abilities, so did he. It just stopped being about proving anyone wrong. I was just doing it because I loved it, because I was good at it. And in time, I found the funding, I found the job, I found the strongest version of myself that I'd ever known. I found joy. And you will too. You are fearless. You are strong. You can beat the impossible. You are the only person holding you back. So take that leap of faith. Trust in your own abilities. You are amazing. If I could go back and see Kieran's dad one more time, I would thank him for leaving. I would thank him for being the spark that ignited a wildfire.